Okay, good morning y'all. It is about 8.45 and I am on my way to the Anne Frank house. <clears throat> and I'm so excited. Something I've always wanted to do, some place I've always wanted to see. Bucket looks of life. I think I already said that before, but it's so true. So I'm really excited. So we're gonna catch a ferry across the water. It's about 30 minutes away by walking. And I think I have no time to even grab a coffee. I hope I have enough time to grab a coffee. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to film in there. We'll see if I am. I'll take a few clips, but honestly, I'm going to be so excited and absorbed. I don't want to film. So, yay. So I never got the coffee because the little coffee machine was down, like self-serve coffee. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll just go to Encounter because it's like a convenience store. So they have like a little cafe. So then I go to the cafe part counter thing. And a cappuccino was like, Almost three euros. As a girl coming from Italy, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. And it's raining. It's like a weird misty drizzle. See my glasses? Yeah. I don't know if I'm ever gonna eat better with the way I'd be walking out of this way. It's okay. <laughs> As expected, I couldn't um, record or take pictures. It said like no pictures, please. And like some people still did, but I just didn't want to. Cause I'm like, I'm just gonna respect. <laughs> I'm just gonna respect the rules today. Yeah. Guess you're just watching me drink hot chocolate now. It's really good. Also, I have like my phone propped up uh, on my purse. And so, to some people, it looks like I'm talking to absolutely nothing and no one. It's okay. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with, like, pulling my phone out and talking to the camera in public. Like, I'm still a little bit uncomfortable, but it's a lot better than when I first started. Also, since I've been alone for a while, it makes me feel... It sounds sad, but it makes me feel a little bit less lonely, like, just <laughs> talking to my phone. <laughs> Whatever, don't judge me. You're sitting down with me watching this, so. Cheers, you weirdo. We're both weird. Mm -mm -mm. I also really want to buy a tote bag from here. They're only like four euros. But I think I might do it. Because why not? I think I'm gonna do it. And also, I want to go to the Milk Club Museum. And I'm pretty sure they probably have tote bags there too. I don't know about one from here. It's the Mocha Museum. Oh. I'm gonna finish this hot chocolate, then go to the bookstore and see what happens after that. I talk so fast. We'll see what happens after that. I got a vegan ramen bowl. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. And then still fried chicken. Ugh. I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna have Japanese fried chicken for the first time. With the side of mayo, it's kind of weird, but I'll try it. Mm -hmm. Very good, but very hot, so I need to Oh, wait a second. Just hmm? slowly coming into a food vlog. Slowly turning into a food vlog. Hmm. When I was younger, I used to like the way my voice sounded when I was sick. I thought it was cute. I don't know what was wrong with me. I was mentally ill. I don't know why I thought that. It's that cute and it's really annoying. <laughs> Hello there. Gonna, this camera is so close to me, but we're gonna try this one in. Wow. What a beauty. Bruh. 
so good. It's delicious. <clears throat> Maybe this will cure my cold. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll figure out what else to do with our day. I have a pretty good idea, of, I think, of what I want to do. So lunch was great, it was really good. Um, weird thing about the ramen though, it like lost flavor on some bites. Some bites have a lot of flavor, and some bites kind of bland. I don't know, that was a bit strange. Anywho, now I'm on the hunt for a uh, thrift store. Two thrift stores actually. So that should be fun, because I like thrifting in the States, so maybe it's like really cool in Amsterdam. I guess we're just gonna go for a walk. Sad. <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be the best apple pie of my life. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Good pie. I kind of expected more since like they said this is the best pie known to mankind on planet earth. I mean like, it is good. Can't say that it's not. I don't eat a lot of apple pie. So I don't have much to compare it to either. Wait, actually this crust is like really good. My mind is being changed. Best pie known to mankind? I don't know. Best crust? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, so my verdict. That was a really sweet pie. I feel sick. I had to drink water in between to like dilute the sweetness. Like, pie? Good. Uh, four, 40? I think it's how much it costs. Four euros, 40 cents. Is it that good? I got the experience. <laughs> I got to say I ate it. And it was decent pie. I'm so full. But honestly, that's my fault because I had that ramen and fried chicken and a beer. And then I walked around, so I thought I was fine. And then I got pie. That wasn't fine. That was not a good idea. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to go to the Light Festival Canal Cruise tonight or tomorrow. I don't know, because I could go to bed like now. <laughs> Oh my god, I sleep so much. You guys probably think I'm insane and I just come abroad to eat and sleep. Well, <laughs> debatable. <laughs> mm. I also kind of want to talk about the Anne Frank house. It was really cool. It was really awesome. I had a really good time. I found it, it's just kind of weird because everyone's like, she's a hero, she's amazing. Which, don't get me wrong, like, girl had balls. Like, girl was really doing things out here. But so were so many other people who went into hiding and who were just trying to hide from the Nazis and had to go to concentration camps. Like, I think they were all brave. And I guess the only reason why she became a martyr is because she did keep the diaries. I don't know, it was just so weird. I just called it Anne Frank House. It's not called everyone who had to put up with the tomfoolery of the Holocaust house. And it wasn't a monument, like it was just about her, obviously, like duh, not just about her. There were other things there too that I learned about. I don't know where I'm going. I'm rambling and I, I literally don't know where I'm going, like in terms of physically, directionally, nor with that talk. That's so cool. All right, I'm just gonna walk and see where the wind takes me tonight. Okay, so since it's, oh my God, uh, whatever. Since it's relatively dark, I want to go to the red light district again. I found it by accident the other day, but I'm fine on purpose this time, so I know where I am. 
and just want to check it out. But I know it's frowned upon to record and take pictures there, so I'm not going to, out of respect. But that's what I'm going to do, FYI. You won't be able to see it, but I'll be back. The rain just beat me up and destroyed my upper. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. Calling it a night. I'll see y'all tomorrow.